Greetings my people, Zion coming at you again with another tutorial. First, I want to take the time out to thank each and every single one of my subscribers for getting me to where I'm at right now. I'm happy to announce that my channel has been monetized and it's all because of you. This means that YouTube is no longer just for fun. It's more like a, a fun job. So now I'll be getting paid for doing what I love. Who will be paying me? You. How? I need you guys to share the videos, drop your comments, hit the thumbs up button. This one is very important, guys. A lot of people, you know, look past that like it's not really important. But to YouTube, it's very important. And most of all, guys, watch the videos to the very end. This is most important. In other words, I need you guys. Anyways, let's get to business. I wanna teach you guys the top five must know reggae rhythm, especially if you wanna join, you know, a reggae band. So grab your guitars, let's go. B major A major back to B major all right by now you guys should know how to farm these cards all right and it's the strumming pattern is a And remember, if you're playing with a full band, you want to concentrate mostly on the thinner strings. You know, you can do your little and come back up, you know. But remember, as you strike, you squeeze and release. Apply the pressure and release. You can do slides upstroke slide back in there then you can slide from the e flat major you know listen you know what i mean so you add your little slides from a semitone a semitone down or a full tone if you want the stock line also is You can double it up if you wanna, you know, but you just add, have to add your little flavor to it. So let me play it slow. Let me make it more clearer. Thank you. 
again, for this one, my guitar is set to clean. All right? And this is C major to G major. Different formation, all right? And sometimes C major to G major. To G major here, R, G dominant seven. So it sounds like, first one. Second one. Now, if you do not know how to form this dominant, you want to come all the way up here to the 10th fret and bar the whole 10th fret with your pointer finger placed that pinky finger on the second string, 12th fret, place the ring finger on the fourth string. So you're going to skip one, the fourth string, 12th fret, and you're going to get. All right, so that's your G dominant seven right there. You know, in this in a higher register. So it's C major right here, and this G major right here, bar the seventh fret, place that middle finger on the second string, eighth fret, place that ring finger on the fourth string, ninth fret, place the pinky finger on the fifth string, tenth fret. There you go. Dominant. You can add your slides like the previous. The stock line for this one is. Now to slow it down. pattern same rule applies you strike and you squeeze at the same time you apply the pressure as soon as you finish with that you're gonna lift the, the fingers but not entirely off the fretboard you're gonna keep it there so it can mute You can use your, your effects there if you so choose. All right. The stock line for this one. Okay, so now to go slow. Mute. 
And that's basically it. Start with the stock line with this one. To go a little slower. You gotta use a palm to mute so you can get that muted sound. Okay? For the strumming, you wanna strum from the C major to the B flat major. You can use this one. So C major to B flat major. If you so choose, you can do. I wouldn't use this one. This one is more brighter. Remember, when you slide, you want to slide with the upstroke. And to play slow. Now for the strumming, it's E flat major and you're going to pass on the C sharp major. All right, so it's a So the fourth strike is going to be on that C sharp major. So again, One more time. E flat major. C sharp major. That's going to be the passing card. One more time. One, two, three, pass. One, two, three, pass. One, two, three, pass. The same rule applies to when you're striking, you squeeze, 
and release. Yeah, man, and that was your five must know reggae rhythm. If you really want to start playing reggae music or if you want to join a reggae band, that should get you to first base. Very simple, very easy, basic chords. All you need to do is pay attention to the feel. Let me know how you feel about the tutorial. Put it down there in the comment section. Remember, guys, you guys are paying me right now. Watch the videos in full. That is how I get paid. Do not forget to like, comment, share. Most importantly, do not forget to subscribe. Check out one of these two tutorials right here. There's a lot more on this channel for you guys to learn, so go ahead and check it out. My name is Zan. See you next time with another tutorial. Blessed love.